BBC's Dan Walker Grills shadow business secretary Rebecca Long Bailey after she failed to clarify why Labour had not taken actions to shut down antisemitism in its party. The Labour front bencher said, There were 20 recommendations that come out of the Chakrabarti report and unfortunately they haven't been implemented as quickly as they should have been, one of them being political education, for example, Ms. Long Bailey added, We also passed a motion at conference last year in making antisemitism a clear offence within the party and it was absurd up until that point that it wasn't an offence. But the BBC host blasted, Can I interrupt you? You say unfortunately we haven't done it. Why haven't you done it? He continued, Why haven't you picked up on those recommendations? Why haven't there been changes made? You said unfortunately we haven't we done it. The Labour MP admitted it was unfortunate that Labour had not been as speedy as it should have. She said, it should be ensuring that that becomes one of the priorities of our new General Secretary going forward. And also say about the investigatory processes within the party itself. When we find instances of anti-Semitism, quite often they haven't been as quick as they should have been and again I think there will be a lot of work that goes into speeding up those process and making sure that anybody affected by anti-Semitism is dealt with in an appropriate manner. Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn issued a statement on Monday to apologise for any pain caused by anti-Semitism in the Labour Party. The Labour leader, who has come under fire over his apparent support for the painter of an allegedly anti-Semitic mural, did not make any reference to the criticism aimed at him personally but in a statement aimed at building bridges with the Jewish community, he acknowledged that Labour must demonstrate a total commitment to excising pockets of anti-Semitism that exist in and around our party. His comments came as Jewish leaders prepared to protest against Mr. Corbyn outside the Houses of Parliament.